So this is going to be a review of the Ryobi 40 volt um, lawnmower, self-propelled, battery powered. It's got a 20 inch cutting deck, three in one. So it mulches, it cuts, and it, it does a uh, mulches. It has a side discharge and it also bags. So it does come with a bag as well as the side chute. I've got it set up for mulching right now though. Um, and I'll show you. It's got a mulching plug that you uh, put in before you start mulching. So mine came with a 40 volt, 6 amp hour battery. Um, the batteries go in here. You've got the active battery, and then you've got a place for an extra battery. You are able to fold this and stand it up, which is nice. So... So that's really nice if you're tight on space. So I can push this up against the wall. So if you want to use the mulching function, you do have to in install this mulching plug. Just lift up the back. Should go straight in like that. Kind of locks into place. And that's it. You would take that out if you're using bagging or side discharge. To lift the handles back up, unlock it. Pull it over to the box. box. So to set this up for side discharge, I take the mulching plug out. You install the side chute. Lift this up. The little tabs that slide in. And then it comes down and locks. If you want to install the bag, flip this cover up. It's got little notches, little tabs that will go into these notches. I'll hold it in place. So it's got multiple cutting heights, um, which I'll show you in just a minute. It's all controlled by that one lever. So it ranges from one and a half inches to four inches. So and all you do is just pick up. If you want to change the height, pull this out, lift it up. I've got it on two inches for my yard. It also has um, eight inch front wheels, 10 inch back wheels. It is self-propelled through the back wheels. It does have variable speed, as you can see. It's got the speed selector right here. It's just a slide selector. You've got your start button right there. And then over here is where you install the battery. Like I said, it comes with a 40 volt, six amp battery. All you do, slide it in, so it clicks, and then I go ahead and put my 40 volt, 4 amp battery as a backup, just set it next to it so I can swap them out. Really quick. So I've cut my yard a few times with this. Um, I have two complaints about it, is that the self-propelling feature which you just barely hold this down to get it going. It has a delay on it. It has like a second or two delay from when you actually pull the handle to when it actually goes. Uh, so that can be difficult. Also, if you pull it, let it go and pull it too fast, it won't actually go. You've got to release it and let it sit for a second or two and then pull it again to get it to go again. The other thing is I have a half acre yard and this will only cut the backyard with the uh, um, six amp hour battery. So I do have to have the backup uh, four amp hour batteries um, to be able to cut my front yard as well. And then I guess the other complaint would be this, this lid does not latch, it just kind of just sits on there. It does do a good job cutting though. All right, to start this up, you just have to pull this, press the on button. Goes. Sure, it's over there. And then press.
press and hold this lever. There it goes. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.